What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is MC Dobbs and welcome back to Spurs Career Mode, Tottenham Hotspur Career Mode and this is now episode 6 and in this episode we play Manchester United and the Aston Villa Villa you know from Birmingham, yeah you all know, probably know Villa and they are bottom of the table in uh, my league well when I come to play them anyway and this part is probably really sped up, sorry if it's like overly sped up but I tried to get it because I didn't want you to sit through all of this, so I said sped it up. Sorry if it's a bit too much sped up. But anyway, moving into the game. Adebayo passing it to Bale. Bale striking it, and that is a fantastic goal, as usual. Bale is a fantastic player, and you can't beat him. I mean, he did have a duck recently. A duck is where you don't score, but he's just been phenomenal since then. And you'll see later on in the episode how well he plays in this game and the next so moving on man you get a chance here uh Kagawa breaking away to Hernandez Hernandez skipping past um our defender there and smashing it in our defender should have got to that I think it was uh Vertonghen I think it was should have got to that he shouldn't have let Hernandez go around him like that and score he should have slid in at the right time but he left it too late and Hernandez went around him look see boom and Hernandez is a quality player. He's got so much talent in him. He's come, he's going to become a real star. His dad was a footballer as well. Um, I don't know his dad's name, but he is actually called Chicharito, and that means small p in uh, Spanish. Or no, there isn't. Me Mexican isn't a language, is it? No, I don't know actually. No, <laughs> Sturridge there. Sturridge, he still playing excellent. Uh, six, seven goals in five games I think which is outstanding he tries to cross it in there but unfortunately it is cleared by the Manchester United defence and then man you get a chance here um, Ashley Young trying to roulette past our goalkeeper Hugo Lloris but not succeeding Hugo Lloris completely wipes him out from behind and my, and I managed to give away a penalty unfortunately and what a penalty that was from Rooney that my friends is how you take a penalty that is just a class penalty. But whilst uh, we wait for the next clip, just want to say that 10 game challenge will probably be up later because I've been very busy lately and it definitely will be up on FIFA Friday, which will be up a bit late, probably around 9 ish. Probably something like that. But anyway, moving on. Bale, what a strike from Bale again. Keeping it low. He's like Podolski on my old Arsenal career mode. Podolski on a. Well, what I found is on um, FIFA, Podolski likes to keep his shots low and just drive him straight into the net. No chance for the goalkeeper, which is fantastic. I mean, you can also keep keep them high and put them in the top corner, but to keep them low as well is just pretty decent. But here we go. Adebayo down with a dislocated shoulder. He's going to be out for a few days, and you'll see later on in this episode how long he's actually out for. And then, not long after that, Sturridge goes down with a bruised so shoulder. And I was like, what the hell? I've just lost two strikers in one game. Both of my strikers got injured in the same game. It's like, it's like Adebayor passed on his sh shoulder bruise to uh, Sturridge, if that's even possible. <laughs> but both strikers went down, I had to replace the two strikers. And um, I can't remember his name. Cabellos? Cabel Cabalos? That he did, they were playing pretty well, Obika, Obika, I don't know how you pronounce it, Obika and uh, Cabellos, both playing quite well. They did play quite well, seeming as they came on as subs, and as you just saw, Cabellos got a good header there, but the match just finished 2 all. it was a fair result. We both, Man U played very good, and so did we, I think. And as you just saw, um, Sturridge is out for nine days, and... Adebayor is out for eight weeks, which is basically two months, I think. I think eight weeks is two months. Yeah. Shh. It's definitely. <laughs> but apparently, Asso Okotu may be headed for exit door. No, he hasn't said anything to me about. He's been playing. I've been letting him play, but... Anyway, Cabal returns from injury, because I think he's been out for a few weeks, but he returns from injury. Cabal is a great player. I don't really play him much, I don't think, but he is still a great player. And for this game against Aston Villa, I just let the computer choose the squad. Uh, now and again, I'll let the computer 
you know, the computer, the assistant manager. I just use quotation marks there, guys. But it'll be like I choose the squad and the assistant manager, something like that. But anyway, Sturridge, a lovely, powerful strike straight into Brad Guzan. And another strike there from Cabellos. I need to pronounce his name properly. I think that's how you pronounce it. But he does save that. And another strike from Sturridge once again. But unfortunately, it is straight into Brad Guzan. And he doesn't. He doesn't have any hassle saving that, and he parries it away. Corner in there. It is um, uh, hit, hit away by the Villa defence, and then we do manage to break through with Jake Livermore. Is it Jake or James? Something like that. And he just buries it into the bottom corner. Fantastic goal from Livermore. <coughs> I don't I don't usually play him that much, but when I do, he's a great player. Look at that. Just that that is that is like bail goal, guys. That's just flaming a bail goal. A flaming ball is a fire That was really weird. Um moving on very, very quickly. Um <laughs> yeah. Here Aston Villa getting a chance through with Wyman and that is a very harsh tackle from Michael Dawson. That honestly completely took his legs out. Could have broke his legs easily. But luckily, I don't think his legs are broken. But Bent manages to place the penalty into the back of the net. He was going straight down the middle. He did he did do a stutter which obviously confused Brad Friedel. Brackets me <laughs> Um but yeah, we get a great ball f here through to Dembele. Smashes it. Brad Guzan manages to react to that and get down. And then it is bicycle kicked. Cleared. That makes sense. Bic there's a bicycle kick to cl bicycle kick clear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Trying to get a goal there. Sturridge was, but not coming. And then get a throw. Lennon passes the ball down to Sturridge. Sturridge to Dembele and then to Christian Cabellos but he fortunately does get tackled and it's cleared once again by the Aston Villa defence. They were defending quite well at the beginning of the match but we get another break here from Bale. It smashes that. So close to going in. That was so close to going in I must admit. But anyway Dembele passes it once again to Christian Cabellos. This time passes it into Sturridge and Sturridge goes boom boom pow. Boom, 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 pow. Boom, 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 pow. You got that boom, boom, pow. You got that boom, boom, pow. And just, uh, that was a pretty sweaty goal, to be honest. That was like, sweaty goal. Very sweaty. I just pulled a weird face, which you wouldn't be able to see because I'm commentating. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Bale, look at that from Bale. With his weak foot as well. That he is... He plays with his left foot and he just struck that with his right foot. And did you see how the ball just dipped as it went towards the goal? That was pretty awesome. And that's a new feature in FIFA 14, real ball physics. So I'll be hoping to see that. Uh, just a little uh, quick insight into uh, FIFA 14. Sorry if I keep saying um. Yeah, I've noticed that a lot. Uh, yeah. Stop! But once again... Christian Cabellos finally gets a goal after all the chances he has. I mean, I can't really blame him. He's, he's only a 65 rated player, but you would have expected him to score more from the chances he got. But I must admit that was quite a good volley. It was quite high up as well, so he had to really bend his leg to get up to that. And he manages to put it past Brad Guzan. And then we get, we get a free kick and the right man to take it is obviously Bale. And he just puts it straight past the goalkeeper. And it was a fantastic free kick. Just dipped perfectly over the wall. And boom. Straight in. Look at that. Bang. Fantastic. It is so great at free kicks and long range shots. Honestly, you just can't beat Bell. He, honestly, I'm not even joking. He's going to be in the next Ronaldo. I'll bet you. bet you in a few years time he's going to be in the next Ronaldo. But we do get a chance here. And after that, it is the end of the game. Finishing 5-1. It was Drew, but we managed to pull it back in the end to get a 5-1 win. And yes, guys, that has been MC Dilbs. If you enjoyed, then make sure you leave a like and make be sure to subscribe to my channel to see more great content. Keep safe, guys, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.